Thanks, Carol. Gosh, we're getting some thought-provoking presentations in the last session of the day. It was very good. Thank you. So our last presentation of the day, long day, and it's uh, Phil Adams Mercer, who is the chief executive of one of the UK's largest parcel delivery companies, Parcel2Go.com. It's a C2C -C business, and it'll be quite interesting for many of us to listen to how, how this operation works. But first of all, Phil left his school at 15 without an O-level, it says here. No, without an A-level. Is that right? Without a spirit level. A spirit level. <laughs> and began full-time work on market stalls and driving trucks until opening his first video store at the age of 27. Phil also became involved in video trade publishing and eventually sold the retail business to Blockbuster, taking money in shares rather than cash. He forged strong links with FAM Logistics, a company which grew to handle break bulk storage and distribution work. Inspired by the dot-com boom, Phil teamed up with his son Richard and a colleague Stephen Kramer and formed a former driver to create parcels2go.com in 2000. This is a very interesting case study. Uh, Phil has um, inveigled or persuaded his IT guru Martin down here to do the presentation rather than help in it. Uh, so, but I'll hand over to you first of all, Phil, if you wouldn't mind. Thanks very much. What I learned many years ago, in my many years of being alive, is that a clever man is only clever if he knows what he's dumb at. And I would only bore you to tears trying to read a presentation that I actually didn't do anyway. So I'm going to let Martin, my chief nerd, um, do his presentation and I'll stay around for any questions and answers. Hi guys. Um, as it says, I am a nerd. I've never slept with a woman. I still live with my mum and I do own a duffel coat. Um, I'm, I'm one of Phil's nerds, one of Phil's many nerds, and he's dragged us away from a game of World of Warcraft, and I was at level 70, so I'm not happy, <laughs> to talk about the demand and needs of sea to sea shippers. Um, the good news is there's no PowerPoint presentation. I'm just going to talk to you. Um, I'm not the prettiest guy you've ever seen. No, please let me finish. So basically, <laughs> It's, hopefully we can concentrate on some of, the, some of the messages we've got. I think the first thing, we've got a very strange mantra at Parcel to go. We don't chase parcels, we chase customers that send parcels. And I'd like to talk a little bit about this strange C to C market that we're all quite nervous of getting involved with. First obvious one is there's a lot of C to C customers. Um, is it, 12 years ago, there were 8 million people online in the UK. Uh, two years ago, it was 47 million people online in the UK. And in the UK now, we've got over 75% of people are online. Um, and if we say that that includes the very young and the very old and infirm, like Phil, then um, it's an awful lot of people. The rate of which C2C customers are coming uh, to us also, it's, it's, um, it's increasing exponentially. Two-thirds of our customers came to us in the last three years. And if we keep growing like this, then basically we'll have 2% of the UK's population in the next three years, um, or I'm out of a job. Um, the other thing is, finding C2C customers, specifically C2C customers, needs a bit of imagination. I, I don't know if you heard, but in March this year, Facebook in the US had more visitors than Google for the first time and shook everybody up. Um, and to find C2C customers, we've also got to embrace the social internet. Um, the average age of a Facebook user is 38 years old, and a Twitter user is about 39 years old. And social internet users aren't just teenagers and they're not dodgy men pretending to be teenage girls as well they actually are um, the, the, you know you and I um, if you like and it's not just about finding new customers all of our existing customers are on the social internet that's where they're engaging with each other they're discussing your services right there right now and we haven't got to be afraid to embrace them and get on there with them and have a communal discussion um, the other thing about C2C customers I wanted to touch on really, really briefly was some of the misnomers there are about them. There's this misnomer that they're only single parcel con type people. Um, one of our services has an average parcels per con of 10.2 um, in the C2C market. So I'd argue, you know, we're not that single parcel customer type business uh, people think we are. One of our customers has a turnover of over 8 million on eBay uh, from his home, from his bedroom. You know, so he's hardly a business at all. So the, the, the fact of the fact matter is that C2C often hides in a, um, a multitude of sins in there. The other thing is that not all C2C customers are dangerous to, to the parcel industry. You know, it's a myth that typically a C2C customer sends 60 kilo vases filled full of oil, wrapped in brown paper with this way up and fragile on the side. 
You know, currently our volumes, around about 0.17% of our parcels end up with damage and loss. So they are getting through the network, you know, despite the, the reluctance to engage them. I think the key for us is that the high levels and standards of customer service, specifically where the C2C market like to see, the, um, we'll be honest enough that, you know, we, we advertised on eBay four years ago, um, thought we'd have a punt, and then we could only answer 15% of the customer service requests. We just fell over because we were deluged um, with customer service requests. Since then, we've grown 340%, but we've only increased our uh, customer service cost by 70%, and now 98% of our contacts we handle within 20 seconds, the connected channels. Um, you know, we mix that in with some, some, some quality checks, because the other thing is, is that trying to deal with the promiscuous nature of C2C customers, we assume the rate tarts, and yeah, to a certain extent, but by attacking your customer service issues, we reduced it from 38% to 69% in terms of how we keep our top segment customers trading month on month. So the, the, the thing is, there's no replacement for a good parcel service as well. And I've heard a lot of you guys talk about um, the, ser the services you deliver. And some of our partners have an 80% collection success rate. And in the C2C market, it's about collection, not delivery. You know, I've, heard a lot, I've heard a lot today about the delivery services and delivery added value. In the C2C market, it's all about collection. They want it out of the, the driveway, they want it out of the pick and pack warehouse because they, they, want, they want to deal with that feedback. Um, and some of our service providers have 98% collection success rates. And our most popular service isn't our cheapest. So it's not just about price. You can get added value pricing into your, service, um, your services if you've got a good service to sell. Um, I think, really, that what, 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 I, what I'd like to encourage you to do is to embrace the C2C market a little, not to be scared of it, you know, not just to, to look at it, but to touch it and feel it and have a, have a go with it. I'm, I'm going to finish there because I really need to get this level 70 sorted out. And I'm... <laughs> <laughs> it's really doing me head in. The last thing I'd say is, over the last few minutes when I've been talking to you, three billion emails have been sent, 30 million searches were made on a Google site, 6,000 blog posts were added, and 324 parcels were shifted through parcel to go. There's an awful lot of people out there. Thank you, guys. Thank you.